10 years of overcoming challenges, learning more about myself, heartbreak, friendships, new beginnings, wild experiences. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but in Japan, it's the norm. And it's one of the things I still don't think I could do back in the States. It's been 10 years in Japan, which means I had exactly 10 birthdays here. I remember when I told myself I would only move here for a year, then go back home to finish my teaching certification and eventually get married and settle down in Michigan. But that never happened. 10 years of overcoming challenges, learning more about myself, heartbreaks, friendships, new beginnings, wild experiences, and so much more. A lot of people move abroad to experience the culture, and while that is important, living abroad teaches us way more than that. There's a new chapter that awaits us, and I'm so excited for it. I'm the type that can't sit still too long, trying new things, changing paths. Doing things that make me uncomfortable for the sake of positive human growth is who I am. But for now, I'm soaking up the simple, everyday moments living here with the time we have. This is my breakfast this morning. I don't know how professional this vlog is going to be, um, but I'm gonna do my best. I have organic, old-fashioned rolled oats. They're whole grain. This is kind of like my go-to breakfast anyway. Like I'll make some oatmeal with cinnamon and some organic vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, and I use this almond milk. Um, it's low sugar. And yeah, I'm just cooking this up and I'm gonna top it off with some yogurt and berries and um, bananas and all that good stuff, so. Got this new yogurt, <laughs> it's called Gada. I'm not sure what this one is about. I've had a little bit and it almost tastes like too milky. The only thing that I eat with dairy in it is um, yogurt. So I wanted to try this one. I guess it's a Greek yogurt. I might add a little bit to this and I, I don't know if this is gonna taste good but I added some pumpkin seeds in there. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so I am ready to go. I had a really hard time picking out the things that I wanted to wear today. I feel like I struggle with that so much. Oh, I gotta put my earrings in. I struggle so much lately just being comfortable in my own skin because just finding something to wear that I feel confident in has been really hard. So I've been wearing like literally the same stuff like over and over again. <laughs> I'm having a girls party today. I wanted Alyssa to come, but um, she is on her honeymoon. So um, that's exciting for her. But I am going to attempt to make a sort of bean guacamole dip. I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't have that much time. I need to be quick. I love this new lens, by the way. It's like a wide angle lens for my camera and it's it looks so great. Anyway, I'm gonna hurry and make this bean dip and pray for me because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Um, but we're just gonna order some pizza and play some games and just hang out. It's just like five of us that are coming over. This is the first time that I had a gathering at my place since what, like 2020, like the beginning of 2020 when we moved. I think we moved to 2019 actually at the end. And then I had like a housewarming party. Let's make this bean dip and hope for the best. Okay, this is what's gonna go down. This big organic bag of chips. I did open them because I wanted to try one, <laughs> um, but it's a lot of chips. Like this is a lot of chips. I don't think anyone's gonna finish it. I am gonna heat up some refried re beans and this is what they look like. I don't know if you can see it. These are the refried, brain, refried beans, I can't say it, that I'm using. I have some salsa here. I have a little bit of hot sauce that we can use um, and some jalapeno. It's going to be a very simple dip, but I have guac, uh, not guacamole. <laughs> I have some avocado. I have onion, but I don't think I'm going to use that either. I have this tomato. We got this like a couple days ago. I don't know if it's like good anymore. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's do our best and see what happens.
Okay, I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put this in the fridge because they're not gonna be here for like another 45-ish minutes, but if you can see, like the refried beans are at the bottom, the guacamole is at the top, I added some salsa, some dip, and it's funny because my friend is actually like, I was thinking the same thing, so she is bringing some more salsa and chips. But I have like the organic chips. I'm so proud of myself, it looks so good. Everyone looks so like I'm large in this Japanese apartment, like, or really tall. I'm just like super short, so I feel like <laughs> you gotta use the controller now. Ready? Quick, quick, sit down. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Throughout my years of living here, I had friends come and go. Some moved back to their home countries, some got new jobs that were more demanding, and some jetted away to travel the world. The past couple years, I've learned one thing and one thing only when it comes to friendships, and that's to find people who give off good energy, good vibes, have dreams, have goals, value self-growth, and rarely ever gossip. <laughs> the people you surround yourself with affects your own energy and if you are surrounded by that feel-good energy then you attract more experiences and situations that give you more of that good energy. And if you're wondering where my husband was this whole time, he was in Toyama visiting family and climbing mountains. to go on a little bit of a sort of date by myself to get some work done and to also get some coffee and just get out of the house. It's a gloomy day, but it's nice out. It's not like super hot, it's a little humid, but um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I came across a TikTok video of a girl going out to eat alone in America and saying it's not as scary as you think. One thing I was blown away by here is how many people eat alone. You even have restaurants made for people who are alone and man, has that been so freeing since living here. It made me feel comfortable eating out alone, shopping alone, going to the movies alone. In Japan, it's the norm and it's one of the things I still don't think I could do back in the States.
husband came to pick me up and he's drinking his Welch. <laughs> That's what he calls it. Welches. <laughs> Welches. Well <laughs>